So, let's let's not talk about what happened last week. You know, um, let's just yeah, that never happened. Never happened. What's the two and one, right? 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 <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emirates here. Welcome to our week 5 battle in FIFA. Where this week we're up, going up against newbie coach of the Seattle McGearness. If you guys have not checked him out, a link to his drafting profile will be in the description down below. Go check him out. He's actually one of the founding members and admins of FIFA. So without him, we wouldn't have the league. And they, honestly, the admins uh, in the state do a fantastic job of running the whole thing. Plus, Loopy is like one of the main um, showdown battlers knocking around in this gen so definitely like you know if, if you're in draft leagues you, you know maybe you've heard of him uh, we bet him last year by a sliver and it was just about the time he was starting to really get a handle on his team because he didn't have a good start last season and then he really came back strong at uh, towards the tail end of the season so i'm kind of glad i got him early but at the same time i'm like he did kind of call out he wanted his revenge on me and considering how last week went uh but 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 I'm hoping we can put all that behind us and we can progress forward. And we're at like after this game, we'll be halfway through the season. So if we can actually go halfway at three and two, marvelous. So look, we're just gonna break uh, break down his team. We we'll show you what we're bringing and we we'll go from there. So yeah, Lupi team as you can see for me now consists of Melmel, Salomon, Starmi, Sylvian, Mianshao, Chandelure, Drapion, Megametric, T Serena, Sandslash, Wiggytuff, and Glalie. He's got a couple of things there, guys. It's a little bit scary, but honestly, I think our team offensively just runs over Lupi's team. I know Lupi can still beat me here, but I think just offensively, we have every single thing going for us offensively that it's just going to be so hard for him to break through us. His man has is obviously a bit of an issue, but we have bulk in, in our type of feed to be able to deal with that. Mens is scary, but again, like we have several Pokemon that's able to kind of take a hit from it. Uh, Sylveon can hit a little bit hard, but we have a, we have an Age of Slash. Demian Shao, again, it's not free high jump kick knocking around, so, mm, you know, and it doesn't get Ice Punch. The Chandelure can hit hard, but again, I got Greninja, you know, so you can kind of see where I'm getting with here. Like, every single Pokemon, like, he has, like, some nice, solid Pokemon there, but there is nothing he has that I'm like, whoa, I'm terrified at. It's like, no, no. We're just bringing the offense. If we just go hyper offense and we just kick moves and kick damage moves and scare him, he will. We should win this, or at least be in a position to win this half, um, at the halfway point. Whereas last week we were far too passive. We were way too passive with my build last week, and that's down to me being on holidays and not setting aside enough time to do prep. We were far too passive in our build last week. I should have came in and said we need to bring more offense. Or we have an offensive team. We got to use it more offensively. So let me show you how offensive we're going to be this week. Our first Pokemon is Slayer the Mega Man Champ. This is a standard of Mega Man Champ build as you're going to get. I'm bringing 252 speed, 252 attack with the giant nature because I need speed tight Salamence. Low kick for the Mel Mel because it does more damage than Drain Punch or the High Jump Kick. Well, High Jump Kick does the same, but Low Kick, I've, I've no, there's no drawback, you know. Zen Headbutt is there for the Drape, uh, not for the Drapion, sorry, but just general other dual stab move. Poison Jab is there for the Tapu, uh, sorry, for the Sylveon. Ice Punch is there for the Salamence. And that's basically it. Very, very simple. Now next up we have Paladin, uh, Paladin, I should say, our Age of Slash. I'm rocking out the weakness policy this week. I feel like we can get this off. I feel like we can get weakness policy off very, very easily and then we become a major, major threat. King Shield, Shadow Ball, Iron Head and Shadow Sneak is the moveset. I'm bringing the King Shield because I want to be able to pivot out of my uh, Shield form easily this week, particularly because I'm more likely going to be taking a hit or two from me and Shao or T-Serena and I don't want to be able to have, um, allow them to revenge kill me if you catch my drift. Shadow Ball is our main offensive move, and I'm bringing Shadow Ball because I feel like, I feel like if we do a, an ABT screen or something like that, like we need, we, we like or it's like it's it's hard. Like I want to be able to hit the men men as hard as it can if it comes in. I want to be hit hit in a, a few other things. So I went Shadow Ball. It just hit hits better on the special side. Over oh, side, we need to hit more on the special side to speak with Age Slash. I've Iron Head there for the Sylveon because even if Sylveon is fully uh, fizzed death, um. A plus two iron head would kill it. And then I have enough speed death there to ensure that a mystical fire from a defensive Sylveon never uh, to a kills us. And that allows me to get my weakness policy off and smack him. And then again, again, that's the reason why I also have the negative speed nature is because I want to have, I want Sylveon to hit the mystical fire while I'm still in speed form, or sorry, in shield form, then click iron head and go for the one hit KO. That's the idea. Next up, I'm bringing Beast Arlando T and I'm rocking out the E-Belt. Jewel Dancing set, baby. Rock Polish, Sword Stance, Earthquake, and Stone Edge is the move set. 
look, you look at the team, you can see above me at the moment. You will tell me the, uh, the Pokemon he has for this for this uh, Joe Dancy Lando T set. And it's about time we brought offensive Lando T uh, on this team. But like, you tell me, you show me. Um, if his team gets smacked up by it. Like T3 is the only real viable of only real uh, reliable Pokemon that can come in on this Lando T on a, like a plus two set. But even then, like what? Like T3 has to do so much. T3 has to sponge Greninja, has to sponge uh, Tapu Fini, has to potentially sponge the Age of Slash, has to sponge the Thunders. Like it does. It, it's we're forcing T3 to do so much. So I'm not worried about that. I'm like I'm looking at the fact like I can set up against the main electric. I can set up against the. Sylveon, I can set up against the Mian Shao, I can set up against the Drapion, I can set up against the Sandslash, I can set up against the Wigglytuff. You kind of see what I got there, like there's seven Pokemon that I'm able to set up against. I wouldn't be surprised to see Glalie come, because Glalie kind of needs to come for this Lando T. So I'm like, yeah, why not? I'm ready to outspeed, outspeed a Chandelure, and then at this speed, we outspeed everything at plus two speed as well, so that's great. And then I have the E-Bell to ensure that a R plus two, if we get Solar Sense up, Earthquake is always going to want Hikyo at fully fizz death. Mel Mel, barring a sugar, a sugar berry, of course. But that's it. And hopefully this Lando T set does the work. After that, I'm bringing Zeus our Thunderous this week with the heavy duty boots. And I'm bringing new turn, Thunderbolt, knockoff, Sludge Wave. Could bring full switch, but honestly, I feel like new turn's a little bit better because it just allows me to hit the the sand slash if it does come allows me to t serena allows me to hit like you know just uh, you know a couple of other pokemon a little bit so i figured the turns a little bit better um the t-bolt is our stand move the knockoff is there for an av t serena to, that will come in and once that coin comes in knockoff into sludge wave depending on the t serena spread knocks that thing out so prepare for me to calc that as we go along and then we look we just have enough speed to outspeed the men's or the men's shell sorry the men's shell and then after that pfft, it's a little bit of bulk, rest is in speed, and that's it. Next up, our brain, Nagato Arc Ninja with the leftovers, Spikes, U turn, Dark Pulse, and Ice Beam is the moveset. Enough speed to outspeed the Starmie. And then Dark Pulse, Ice Beam is for the Mens, it's for the Starmie. And you see me use this Greninja set time and time again, and you see me use it to great effect. It's just getting Spikes up, it's just pivoting around, it's just being an absolute nuisance because we're going to be able to kind of come in the Mens and just click moves. So and that's going to be, it's going to be that for a good bit, you guys, because we have Sylveon knocking around. We have the Chandler knock around, so we're going to be able to get spikes up this game. There's no need for me to be any too crazy with this Greninja, but I probably will have to in a few weeks' time because people will start spying. I brings this set up quite a bit, so we're going to, have to start maybe mixing and matching our Greninja set a little bit, but no need to change it this week because we have plenty of opportunities to hit the what you call the set of spikes in this matchup. And last but not least, we are bringing to Morgan our Tapafini with Surf Draining Kiss combined Iron Defense. Yeah, I know I got crazy here, but hear me out. We have Surf and Draining Kiss as our two main offensive stab moves. Draining Kiss gives me that recovery that I desperately would like this game. Combine set up on the special side. And then Iron Defense, if Mel Mel, if I can come in on a Mel Mel and set up an Iron Defense before he even touches me, he ain't touching me back. Do you know what I mean? So I can come in, set up an Iron Defense, and then start clicking uh, Surf, Draining Kisses, you name it. And then we can slowly and surely, just we can win. We can actually win with this set. Which is crazy. We can win with the set uh, given the right conditions. Like if I can keep holding thing in the back, come in a memel, set up the iron defense, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Damn, like I don't touch this thing," and like well, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, "Yeah, I got, I got moves. I got, I can click, I can click buttons and click draining kisses and wear this thing out." So this Pokemon can win on its own with this set. So that's the crazy thing about it. And then EV wise, it's max for his death for the memel. That's basically for memel and for men's. After that, like we have natural bulk in the rest of our squad to be able to deal with us, and we're running hyper offense, so screw it. But yeah, that's the team. Let's get up into the battle. All right, guys, here we are in the battle. As you can see, our opponent Lupi has brought Man Metal, Starmie, Salamence, T Serena, Chandler, and the Sylveon. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I'm happy enough with that. I'm happy enough not to see Glalie because it means Lando T can do absolute havoc. If we can remove the T Serena, Lando T wins us the game. Beautiful. So. <laughs> As you can see, Luffy to all the way up and remember the one nil nail by our last season. That yeah, look, we were lucky. But I'm hoping we don't get lucky today and we just flat out win. I'm sorry, I'm just greedy. I need to win, you know. But let's see how we get on, you guys. Uh look, I have to run the offense this week. We're running hyper offense. I don't really care what he really leads with. Baron Starmy. I think I could maybe lead with the He might lead with the Starmy. Or the Mints, so I think we could leave with our Greninja. If he leads with the t Serena, I can just U-turn about into, say, something like Zeus. And we can figure it out from there, I think. I could also leave with my 
Medicham here, because if he, if regardless who he leaves with, I can just smack it. Like I could smack a boy. If he leaves with Stamina or Ment, I'm in trouble there. I ain't gonna leave it on Greninja, but kinda go from there. He doesn't deal here with this. Thank Christ, I remember it. I got that one right. I'm just gonna set up the layer spikes immediately. I don't care what he wants to do. If he just goes for the rapid spin just to remove it, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna set up the layer spikes. If he brings in a T Serena, I'm just gonna click the U turn on it, I think, and scout for damage. Um, as he, oh, actually, we might wanna go for the Ice Beam. Do I wanna click a move? Let me have a think here. Let me have a think. Let me have another think. Uh, he's here. He's either gonna click Rapid Spin or he's gonna switch out with the T Serena. If I go for the Dark Pulse, I scout for damage. Spikes would be very nice, but I think just going for the Dark Pulse right here. He might also wanna go into the Sylveon here as well on the U turn. I think we just go Spikes. Sylveon is very. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad we actually talked that one through a little bit. I'm just going to U turn about. And if I bring in the Age Slash here, that's fantastic. If he Baton passes, look, it's not the end of the world, really. Like, who does he Baton pass into? Chandelure? Like, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to U turn around to my Age Slash. We do have a turn. Uh, we do have one layer of hazards up. He does get that off, right? Which is interesting. I am just going to go for the Iron Head. I see he's going to Baton pass. He does get a Reflect off. The Reflect is a little bit annoying, but we're just going to get a iron head off and see what we are dealing with i think that's our best bet curious about this reflect curious but i get why he's doing i get why he did it i get why he did it he's going to bring in the t serena here who's going to be taking some damage i'm happy enough to see that uh let me go for the king shield here as he may he may want to go rapid spin on this thing uh, i just don't want to give him that i want to give him the minus speed drop and then actually he can't really go for the rapid spin he goes for the triple axle instead. That's cool. Uh, I'm cool with that. Uh, now, let me have a look at the damage here from this T Serena. Uh, now, he did have a Flect up, right? The, the, we should keep that in mind. Even though that damage wasn't great, he did have a Flect up. Yeah, so it looks like he's 252 HP at the very, very least, right? So I could go for the Shadow Ball here. So I think I will do that. As he does go for the knockoff, that's going to pop our weakness policy. This thing could be dead at this point. point. Oh, he's close. He is super close. I'm just going to go for the Shadow Sneak. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot about the Queen's Majesty. Oh, my God. The greed killed me. The, the greed killed me. <laughs> the greed absolutely killed me. I'm just going to go back into our King's uh, our King Shield form here. Um, This obviously kind of sucks, but... Oh, man, if I had just gone for the, shadow, uh, for the Shadow Sneak or for the Shadow Ball, we would have been set. I would have broken through this thing. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I could do it. I see the problem is my this thing does not kill anything. It does not kill at absolute tap on this team after this. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Nothing we can do there about that. He we could. Do I gamble with the? Do I gamble with this? I don't think I. I could gamble with this. He does have the trip axle. He's at minus two against the Lando, right? Against Lando T, my Lando T that is. Um, we will have the Intimidate triggered. He will have the Triple Axel. That's still gonna do way too much. I have to get rid of this thing. That's just an apps. That's just a bona fide little fact. Now, how do I want to get rid of this thing? I'll probably get, bring in Medicham here. I'm just gonna go for the Mega Evolve. And who do you bring in for this? I just think we'll just kick the Zen Headbutt, I think. And just knock this thing out. Beautiful. That opens the door for my Lando T completely. Now, where I set this up on, probably in front of the Sylveon. We just gotta wait and see. This thing's come in here. I'm just gonna bring in my Greninja. No need to be anything crazy here. Goes for the energy ball. Good read. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I want to know. Are you. If you're scarfed into this, I can step on you. Like, that's the. That's the crazy thing here. I can sell up on you right now if I want to. So let me just go for the rock polish. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let me go for the SD. Let me see what you want to do here. In comes the metal metal. This would be close. This would be close. Uh, if he's got the ice punch, if he's got the ice punch, he is going to knock me out. He is going to knock me out. Um, look. he's not. He actually, he actually switched around there. Okay, interesting. Um, I am just going to click the SD again. 
I don't care who he pivots around in here. I gotta click SD. I cannot. I have to be at plus two to beat this man metal. Has to be at plus two to beat this man metal. No matter what. So that's what we gotta do. He loopy records it's GG's. I don't think it is just yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna click SD again. I'm at full, so I'm pretty sure I can live any hit off this fence. We are gonna go up to plus two. You just go for the jewel wing beat. That's fine. I have to click this stone edge here. Please land. Don't do anything stupid and miss. Land this stone edge and allow me to just kick earthquake for the rest of the game. Please and thank you. That's all I want. That's all I want. Please land the stone edge. Please land the stone edge. Please, 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 please land the stone edge. Don't do something stupid. Land the stone edge. Please, 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 please. I'd be lying if I wasn't nervous about this, you guys. I'd be lying if I wasn't nervous about the Stone Edge. One reason why I wanted Smackdown was because it doesn't miss. <laughs> Please land the Stone Edge. If GG's, if, if it is GG's, if this man that is not Shuckerberry, right, then it's GG's, because we beat the Starmie. The, this looks like it's, it's specs, or some choice in some fashion. In comes the Starmie. I'm like, that landed, that's dead, that's fine. In comes this thing again. Uh, I have to kick the Stone Edge this turn. Um, so I'm gonna kick it. If we can beat this thing, that's fine. Um, we do land it. Down goes the, down goes this thing. In comes the Sylveon. I am going to click the EQ. It lived. Kick got the reflect up. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to click EQ again. That's fine. In comes this metal metal. I have this many charm that's able to beat this thing, but I can break through this thing. Really quickly here, if I click EQ, and that leaves this choice scarf and the lore. Well, choice scarf. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's just be, let's just knock this thing out. Almost dead. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, I could just kind of come in here with Tapa Phoenix, click surf twice, click surf twice, and it should be GGs at this point. And Orlando T would have just came in and would take a couple of moves. That's the reason why in the team preview I said, if we can get rid of that T Serena, we're golden, right? Like we are really nicely well set up. We don't have to worry too much about it other than, uh, after that. If, we, if we're able to set up the, with the T uh, if we're able to remove that T Serena, the Lando T just has a way of time. Like I know the Chandelure, like look, this if it specs, it might be able to break it, but he can't lock himself into the energy ball. So we are going to be able to knock it out. And that's GG's, GG's to our opponent. <sighs> Take that, three and two. Woo, baby, I'll take that. The hyper offense came through for us. I will love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. GG's to our opponent, Loopy. Definitely go check him out. I'll have a link to his draft league profile in the description down below. I cannot complain about that, you guys. We brought the hyper offense. We won. One slight, uh, slight mistake, um, but I'll take it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there for this game. If you guys have not clicked the subscribe button, please do so down below. Click the bell icon as well. Click the like button too. It really does help out the channel. If you guys want to see other content on my channel, we have the UBL as well. I, I, I'm knocking around too. I know I'm a little bit behind as this video is out in my FIFA videos. Look, my holidays have been crazy. You, you've probably seen already. I got a little puppy. I got a little puppy. He's literally consumed my life. He, the word relentless has brought up, has been given a new meaning to with my puppy. But yeah, I won't talk about my puppy anymore because I'll drag out the video. Uh, if you, I know I haven't streamed on Twitch today. Look, life has been too busy. Honestly, it might be mid September by the time I'm back. I'm just going to get you guys know mid September, October is probably when I'm going to be back streaming. And by then, I don't know if we've been in the league or not. So I might end up just doing a nuzlocke. I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I just want to keep you guys informed. And, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there today, folks. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and all that kind of good stuff. And as always, I'll see you next time.